So let me guess. You want to play guitar at home with a good sound without annoying the neighbors? You also want to be able to record your stuff and ideally it sounds something like this. And you have a small room or very little space to make all that happen, right? Because I get asked about my home recording setup a lot. And usually people don't believe me when I say it actually is so minimal, it all fits on one desk. And I'm about to prove that to you. Not only that all my stuff fits on one desk, but also that this is the perfect home recording setup in 2023 and beyond. So it actually all starts right here with this guitar. It doesn't have to be this guitar, but in general, an electric guitar. And then, believe it or not, I just use a cable and plug straight into a Kemper profiling amplifier, which is this device right here. Now, you don't have to use a Kemper, but the thing that is so good about this setup is that it's all digital. So I'm not using tube amps anymore. I'm not using any speaker cabinets. I sometimes might even use some pedals between the guitar and the Kemper, but usually I just park straight in. And yes, that does mean that in nine times out of 10, the effects you're hearing on my guitar are coming from the Kemper. But wait, before you're asking, I already know the question, Joey, why are you using a Kemper and not a small 5-1 tube amp? Well, it's actually pretty easy. With a Kemper, I can not only play at very low volumes, I can also take that sound and go to a rehearsal space where they have another Kemper just with my USB stick and have the exact same sound that I had in this room. And all I need to carry is a guitar and a USB stick. That's pretty hard to beat. The other reason is if I have a small 5 watt tube amp, I either need a cap simulator to play it here or I need a cap. In both cases that means I need one more device, right? Or one more object on my desk one more object in this room. And within the Kemper or the XFX or whatever you have, you have it all in one device. And in my case, this device also serves as a stand for my screen. So the advantages in this case of a digital modeler are pretty hard to beat. Now from the Kemper, we go straight into my interface. In my case, that's a Universal Audio Apollo Twin, but you can use whatever. The important thing about my setup is I'm using two channels from the Kemper to the interface. And why is that? That is because I'm using the Kemper in stereo. And now I think this is one of the most game-changing features on any digital modeler that it's so easy to use these things in stereo. All you basically have to do is connect not one, but two cables from the main outputs to your interface and use two channels. And all of a sudden, your entire rig is stereo. So let's say you want to use delay and that delay has some modulation going on. Now that modulation goes from left to right if you have a stereo setup. Pretty much every modulation or time-based effect in stereo sounds better to me. And if all I have to do is connect one more cable to get it, I'm always gonna do that. Now, two more things are connected to the interface. One is my computer. In my case, it's the entry-level MacBook Air M1. And on paper, it doesn't have a lot of power, but believe me, these M1 processors are absolutely powerful. And for 90% of all musicians, they have more than enough power to cope with anything we throw at them. And last but not least, also connected to my interface are my monitors. In my case, the new Atom A7Bs. Now, obviously a lot of monitors will do here, but what's especially cool about the A7Bs, the new series by Atom is, they have room correction on the back of it. So whatever your room sounds like, and let's be honest, we as musicians, our rooms are usually not perfectly acoustically treated, right? So you can boost or cut highs, mids, and lows, and you can directly use these speakers with the Sonarworks software, for instance, for room correction. And believe it or not, that's already the end of my entire signal chain. But now it's time to talk about advantages and disadvantages. So let's start with the advantages. This setup right behind me fits on any desk, which means if you have space for a desk, you now have space for an entire home studio. Second advantage, because I'm completely working in a digital sphere, I can take my sounds everywhere and it's super cost efficient and economical. I can pretty much take my sound on a USB stick and walk right to the gig. Or I can just use my interface and my laptop go someplace else and record stuff. Third advantage, you can play your guitar or whatever instrument you're playing at bedroom volume, still have a super good sound and keep the relationship 
relationship with your neighbors just fine. And other than that, it's fast, it's convenient, it always works, it doesn't break. But now let's talk about disadvantages. Let's be honest, guitarists, I don't have an authentic feel in this room. Whenever I play guitar, it is some sort of a compromise. I'm hearing my guitar through great speakers, but I'm hearing them through 7-inch speakers. It's not quite what we're used to when we're listening to a guitar play through a cabinet. This is just something that needs to be said because I think we need to keep it real here. It is a compromise. For all the advantages that this setup has, the feel is what gets lost a little bit. Another disadvantage is my Marshall Silver Jubilee doesn't get a lot of attention and that means it gets dustier and dustier and dustier. And I just feel a little bit bad for my cabs and my amp because that's what I bought it for and now I don't use them anymore. But let's be honest, to come to a conclusion here, all these disadvantages cannot outweigh the advantages in my opinion. Because at the end of the day, this rig just fits on my desk and works perfectly every single day. It allows me to write, it allows me to record, it allows me to create content for Instagram and YouTube in seconds. And that is pretty hard to beat. And it's also the reason that in my opinion, this is the setup everybody should have. This is the most efficient, the most economical and the most space saving kind of setup you could have. It does everything and fits on your desk. What's not to like? And that's it for today, guys. If you have any more questions about my setup or what you should consider if you're building your own setup right now for home recording, for playing at home, just leave a question in the comment. I'm pretty sure as a guitar community, we can figure this out. So I have been Joey. As you know, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.